Mary, Mary is a very beautiful devotee of Jesus Christ, but today, this day, is very tough for her. She is facing some storm inside her heart and outside also. People are surrounding her because her love for Jesus is not a something secret, but it is something that everybody knows. And today, her faith is being questioned, her hope is being questioned, and a scripture said that in the end of our spiritual journey, I feel this way, or you can also feel this way, because in a scripture it said that now there remains three, hope, faith, and love, and of them greatest is love. So understanding this, Lazarus, brother of Mary, is on the dead deathbed, and Jesus feels divine love for Lazarus, and he calls Lazarus as his friend, and Jesus calls everybody as his friends. He no longer calls his disciples as servant, but as friend. And for friendship to Jesus means something for which he can lay his life for the friendship, and Lazarus is on deathbed. Mary or Martha, two sisters of Lazarus, sent message to Jesus Christ to come and see him. But Jesus didn't come, and it was their hope that Jesus would come. That's why we write some letter to somebody with a hope that that person come to us. But the hope has failed. Jesus did not come. Now there is something called faith. Faith is life. When we have faith, then we have everything. But Lazarus is dead. He funeral has happened. He is no longer with them. And people have started to question the faith of Mary. That if Jesus really loved them, then Jesus would have come and Mary is feeling this kind of feeling that what everybody is telling to her and in the story of Mary we find that how love is even greater than faith and hope. Hope is something that is life energy by which we live and faith is such powerful thing that if we have one mustard seed size of faith then we can ask a tree to uproot from here and go into the ocean it will go there it can move a mountain such power is in faith but today the faith is getting questioned and now remains the love that nobody can take away from us and mary could feel my lord my beloved my friend my savior what mystery is this that people are saying that you who are the embodiment of faith have become unfaithful your grace how could blessing turn out to be a curse. No, it's impossible. I believe in you. Such is the love or such is the heart that is filled in love. That even if faith gets covered, that even if the hope fails us, but love never fails us and Mary believes in Jesus. No, it's impossible that you, my eternal companion, leave me behind all alone because Jesus did not come. It's impossible. I believe. I believe in you. This is how the heart that is in love feels. That, that denies the situation, entire story of divinity. There are two kinds of story in this world. One is of the people who are successful in this world. What is the secret? The one secret that is common in every successful people is this, that they believe in themselves. And there is one secret in every person who is successful into spirituality is this, that they have capacity to see beyond the situation, to lift up their eyes and can see in the God. So Mary also feels, yes, God, God knows what God is doing. This is how we feel. We go beyond the situation, lift up our eyes and enter into the heaven, into divinity. And from there we see beyond the situation, beyond our present, into the eternal truth. And Mary, the heart of Mary, believes people, 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 oh, people. People keep speaking and Jesus how could Jesus, whose one mustard seed size faith has power to move the mountain, how can that Jesus become faithless? No matter, even if it's appearing that the hope has failed, Jesus did not come as a reply of that message sent to him. And the faith is under a question mark because funeral has happened, few days has passed, Lazarus is dead, but is still how can it be possible that Jesus, who is the embodiment of faith, can become faithless? The heart of Mary is not believing it. Now we have sister of, of Mary as Martha, because Martha and Mary both have this brother 
as Lazarus and Martha feels that Jesus would arise Lazarus on the judgment day on the last day as it is told in the scripture she feels Martha the sister of Mary feels that Lazarus is is dead or what but Jesus has power to bring him back life on last day as it is said in the scripture because she feels Jesus as her lord as a master but Mary is slightly different see Martha is more into activities her senses are much projected outwardly and she can think with her wisdom but Mary is very humble in her way of thinking her senses are very much withdrawn and she sees everything with love and in this love we have the scripture that says that today is the day of salvation not any other day will be judgment day this day this moment is the day of salvation and for Mary this day appears like her last day because Jesus and she if Jesus and she are not the same spirit anymore as people are telling as people are raising question mark on her faith because the relationship that we have with God is of our faith and if faith gets a question mark then this becomes our last day what to do with our life with if our faith is 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 not true the words of jesus is not true because jesus said that who believes in him they never die and even they have died they would come back to life because with believing in jesus means believing in eternal life and they are true believer and jesus told Lazarus as his friend friend is and Jesus said that he is a shepherd he would fight for the wolves to save his sheep and everything is getting a question mark but Mary Mary still believes because it is impossible it is impossible for her that her rabboni would deny her or when she needed him then he would when she needed him most he would not come but her love wins and Jesus comes and she also tells to Jesus Christ as Martha said that if you were here here then my brother would not have died but Mary something silent happens between Mary and Jesus Martha is speaking the words of wisdom of the scripture but very silent wordless speechless something has happened between Jesus and Mary that Mary gets tears and people are still speaking so many things but Jesus also wept and when Jesus wept then miracle happened Jesus goes to to the tomb of Lazarus asks that a stone to be removed and calls him out and Lazarus comes back to life and hallelujah miracle happens and the words of love wins even beyond the hope and faith we see in this story that the love wins and Jesus says the greatest of all the friendship is this that your friend gives your life to them and Mary is already a friend of Jesus because he has received her into his life into the life of all of us her devotion is inspiration for all of us because the way Mary is oiling the feet of Jesus Christ and she has given us the fragrance of Jesus feet that we can still smell and she has given her life already in the feet of Jesus Christ and her love wins and love always wins in everybody's life no matter sometimes it happens that hope and faith is also invincible hope and faith also wins but sometimes hope is like the moon and faith is like the sun both of them get sometimes eclipsed or get clouded by the situation of the world or even the st- storm comes yet we are unable to see the moon or the sun or even if we have a speck in our eyes yet we are unable to see the sun and moon or all the stars just one speck or somebody put a finger on our eyes yet we are unable to see anything beyond but love love is something that we can feel even if our eyes are closed even if we don't have eyes yet we can feel love love is eternal love is omnipresent love is always a winner and love always wins faith also wins hope also wins they are embodiment of life they are the fundamental right of everybody and they are the strength of our spiritual life but still sometimes it happens that like the sun and moon like the moon of the hope 
gets covered, get eclipsed. Sometimes the faith also get eclipsed that we believe something and it did not happen. We are hurt beyond our beyond comprehension. But love is always there. Love never leaves us even for one second, one moment. Love is always holding to us. And moment we lift up our eyes to see beyond the situation, we enter into the love and love is always there. Love has power to change even the past. In the case of Lazarus, the past has changed. Lazarus comes back to life. Love is the ruler of present. Love is the ruler of future because love is eternal life. And God so loved the world that we have Jesus with us, the love of God, Son of God, Son of Man, and I love to call him the love of God. And Jesus, who is the love of God, for God so loved the world, says the scripture. And then we have get introduction that how we have Jesus with us. The same Jesus loves you. Thank you so much. My prayers.